Round one. Oh god, yeah, the hyperspeed. Oh shit! <laughs> I should probably turn it down. It's insane. <laughs>remakes of the Ninja Turtles intro. Let's see how much, how well the Cowabunga Collection one will kind of hold up. Okay, it's over. That's fine. That's all it needs to be. That's a big Cowabunga from me. Very, very excited to play this for you guys today. Big thanks to Mike over at Digital Eclipse for setting me up with this code. Very much appreciated. This has Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters, so it's already game of the year for me, but lots of other good TMNT green goopy goodness is in store for us today. So we got games in the bangers font, everything that, wow, April's looking really judgmental down in the bottom of the screen. Like, what's her deal? I don't, online. So I think believe there's four games that use online, but this is a pre-release code, so I don't think that stuff is probably functioning. Turtles Lair, I'm, I'm interested in their filthy Turtles Lair. It's probably filled with lots of scrunchy socks. So we're starting out with the very first arcade game, and I saw enhancements there, which let you make the game easier or harder. There's God Mode, Remove Penalty Bombs, Nightmare Mode, Toggles Mode in the arcade game that dramatically increases the number of enemies. Jeez. Nice border, I like it. Man, that sounds pristine. Been a, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Hot turtle minute. Cowabunga. Cowabunga. I'm just making kids say cowabunga all day. I don't give a crap. See? Told you. April's already fried to a crisp. We all know this. Michelangelo's gonna fall because Michelangelo... So I used to play the NES version of this a lot. I very rarely uh, ever saw the arcade version because by the time I was allowed to go to arcades, uh, Turtles in Time was out. So I'll, I'll, I'll play that instead. And already this plays like a little more janky and, and loose than I recall. I remember these guys though, of course. Voice clips in arcade games at the time. There's April. Gotta save her. That's a rough sprite for her. Hey, April, just go out the, the window. Is there not a fire escape? You're just in your room with your beakers and your computer? Your, your Amistrad? I mean, I came through a door. Why don't you just leave through the door? These guys and their weird guns. I always thought they were like plungers or something. It always freaked me out. So here comes the Mr. The, the, the guy that steadies all of the rocks. Mr. Rock Steady. Is he gonna is he gonna turn red? And he has a version always turn red. I hope he does. He's a madman! He doesn't care who he shoots! There he goes, he's turning red. That's just like when, whenever I did something like wrong as a child, I always thought in my head that my parents would turn red, like bosses do in this game. Ugh. Oh, my shell was fully shocked. I don't know why he would put away the gun. He kind of had an advantage there. I did it. Come with me, April. Nope. Shred I can't do anything. <laughs> this is my full extension. Come on, after that shredder creep. He is a creep. And you do this. This is your big power move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good stuff, sir. You, you tried. An attempt was made. So Shredder is broadcasting that. He's like, he's on Twitch and he's, he's just live streaming that for everyone to see. How else would they do it logistically? I don't really remember boomerangs being a big ninjutsu weapon. Maybe these guys are on loan from the foot chapter from, from Australia. All right, are, are we, who turn off the lights in here? What, what are our bets? I forget what the quote is in this particular game. 
put the lights out. Duh. Yeah, that's that's Leonardo. His famous catchphrase, duh. Where's the cool chick? I know she's somewhere. It's a cool, hot 90s skateboarding chick. Gotta find her. Pizza time. Yeah, it is pizza time. I haven't had pizza in a while. I'm so hungry. <laughs> there she is. I'm sorry. I did not know you can jump off the walls, do a cool flip right into getting grabbed. Just a raw grab and I couldn't do anything about it. Look at that shit, that's great. What an advantageous thing to do. All right, it should be the Pizza Hut sign that falls down. Or was that, I guess that was only for the NES version. And that's why the limited run uh, physical package for this game has a Pizza Hut coupon. Fuck. You always have to be wary for the the ninja clan that throws dynamite in the alleyways of New York. It's a it's a constant threat. Okay, so someone someone who likes a particular style of music, I believe uh, their name might be Bebop. Oh. Who who are the guys that did the voices for this particular game? Are they even around anymore? I wonder. Because this wasn't the, the 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 cartoon voice cast. I don't think. Don't think Konami sprung for them. Yeah, you're not you're not pig enough to use that gun, uh, Bebopster. Turns out the only Bebop's beat was that Bebop got beat. We got a lot of more games to cover, so so why don't we switch it up to Turtles in Time? So this is the arcade version, but if you change game by pressing on the D-pad, you can get the Super Nintendo version, which of course has uh, a few extra levels and stuff like that. So I I don't know what the right answer here is, but let's do the arcade version. That's not necessarily true. Some winners have used drugs. Who is the madman on Konami that said we're gonna take this this song from the coming out of our shit asses tour? It's bizarre. If your song is about the power of pizza, I don't know what to say to you really. I mean, it's powerful, sure, but to write a song about it? Let's kick shell. All right, Michelangelo's going to kick some shell, hopefully. All right, it's April and her massive bazongas. And there's Krang with his massive penis. And he's got he's got a big ass too, I guess. Bloated beanbag. The arcade version doesn't have the voices that say Big Apple 3... three what the... Is that in the Super Nintendo version? I forget. I, I have to go back to the Super Nintendo version really, really quickly after this just to see. Cause yeah, it's it's the version I, I know best. I very rarely played the arcade one, but yeah, there's something about this that's just not bad. It's just different. I think the last time I, I played this particular, uh, the, the arcade version was like in a barcade in Vermont, maybe? Maybe Seattle? Then Grunkle Derek was playing with me. I think he was. That strikes me as familiar. Pizza time. It's pizza time. What a nice soothing voice Mikey has. Okay, well, you know, at least that that explosion caused some emotional damage. Uh, I'm really, I'm really, really sad that Krang didn't say welcome to die. That's just disappointing. <laughs> Uh, I thought my invincibility frames would make me invincible. I mean, are New York construction sites usually composed like this? They just have random wrecking balls and, and giant weird uh, kaiju that just shoot lasers? Time. Pizza time. It is pizza time. Baxter, where are you? I, I can smell your fly-like asshole. There you are. I don't have I don't have an answer here. He's too fast. An insect like. Oh, 
Ultra Combo! Close to it. Oh yeah, his weird creepy sex hand that he shoots out. Not a fan of it. Oh, shell shock. Let kick, let kick, let, let, let kick shell. All right, Baxter has been exterminated. Another murder well done. Okay, there are the voices that just, they're just a little bit different. Okay, let's stick with Mikey for just switching over the Super Nintendo version. I'm really interested to now suddenly go back to this, but I think it's the hits. I think the impact of the hits just feels feels better in this. And the sound effects too. Obviously there's less frames of animation and it's, it's slightly more choppy, but... Uh, the music has a little more punch, I think. So yeah, there's just something about the Super Nintendo version that just, that just hits a bit better. I, again, I think it's a bit of the feedback, a bit of the speed. Um, again, the, the the arcade version looks a little bit nicer, but I don't I don't know. I'm kind of preferring this, weirdly enough. So we could play Ninja Turtles: The Tournament Fighters, or we could play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Warriors. Aw, shit! So you can just turn the playable bosses on. You can just get the extra stages. Put on max speed, extra lives, fuck yeah. Alright, tournament, let's do it. Let's we're taking Asuka. There she is. Yep. This is April O'Neil Konichiwa. Round one. Oh god, yeah, the hyper speed. Oh shit! <laughs> I should probably turn it down. It's insane. <laughs> wow. Damn. Ludicrous speed. Check out that butt. Quite powerful. <laughs> There's such a thing as a fighting game being too fast, by the way. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's turn it down way down and let's go with Mikey. Round one. Fight. Fight. Right, this might be too slow, but it's fine. It's totally fine. So the other weird things about this version is that the voice samples, some voice samples are different. I'm not exactly sure why they changed them. Like, they're not terrible or anything. They're just, I don't know, different. Oh, God, Rising Thunder. You're a great fighting game that lasted not for very long, and you're a great fighting game move. Nice! Come on. I can get my ultimate attack move if you, if you just let me, Chrome Dome. Ah. Really wish that uh, ultimate attack energy would like stick between rounds would be a nice little extra feature, but it's fine So I'm just very curious if uh, the tournament fighters scene Will will kind of expand and explode thanks to an online version that uses rollback of, of this particular fighting game, I, it, it remains to be seen whether that can be the big shot in the arm the franchise could need to uh, the franchise. Uh, this particular game could could get to get more people to, to, to play it. Okay, almost got it. Yeah, I was like, will it kill? And don't worry, it's a super in tournament fighters. Of course, it'll kill. Okay, war should not be a big problem. Hailing from Archie Comics, it's war. Round one, fight. I, I don't know how many times I've, I've thought you guys, I've thought like, what if Tournament Fighters comes back? What if somehow, oh shit. I, I'm the, I might not be coming back from this. I'm two. 
All right, that was that was a practice round. I, I wanted War to feel better about himself. Oh God. There you go. Oh, Jesus. No. No! Oh, He's just reacting to everything. Oh. I can't do this. There you go. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Still, even if you lose in this game, you have a lot of fun. Still lots of other games to play, but it's so cool that they have the, the Japanese and American versions of the Super Nintendo version specifically. It's There's a lot of minutia going on here. I don't know if there's any differences between the Japanese and, and American versions of the Genesis version of Tournament Fighters, but let's give it a go. Holy crap, you can actually turn on Triceraton, Krang, and Karai. That's not something you can actually do in the game as normal. That's like a cheat thing. Like, you actually have to unlock that with, like, Game Shark stuff, I think. You have to hack the game, essentially. Was that put into just this version? That's incredible. Because I've never played as those characters ever. Yeah, I forgot that this game has a practice mode. That's one slight thing it has on the Super Nintendo version. So are the bosses up there? Oh, they are. Wow. Okay, let's take Triceraton. And let's beat up, let's beat up Ray Filet, why not? I love that this this planet decided to call itself a futuristic city planet. <laughs> oh, it's a practice mode, but essentially the CPU is there. My Triceraton is weird. He's dripping goop out of his mouth. Very strange. Okay, yeah, he just basically got Michelangelo's dynamite bomber that he just knocked me the fuck out of. Yep, a lot of farty sound effects. Th this is the Genesis version, all right. Wow, that's a an insane Blanca ball. Did you see that shit? Wow, I mean, I thought I read that these bosses are not playable by any traditional means. If Digital Eclipse really went the extra mile to hack this game and put them in there, that's just like, I can't, I can't praise that enough. This is April O'Neil from Channel 6 News. And remember, come on, baby. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's take Donnie's yo and see what happens. And let's go to Bio Planet. I don't know. Maybe Broly's there. I mean, while this is all neat and stuff, I mean this is that's just it's so much worse than the Super Nintendo version. So much more slower and choppier, and of course, only three attack buttons, I think. No, wait, I think it's two attack buttons and a taunt? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Alright, I got shell shocked, unfortunately. Take that shit, idiot! Yeah, just jump right into it, that's fine. I'll take it. Any victory I can get. Listen, I'm not much of a fighter, but I love machines. <laughs> so un unenthusiastic there. All right, Clone Leo, give me a run for my money here. It's just, he's so confusing with his purple pattern and his red shell. It's like, I don't even know. My eyes are so distracted. So this is the NES version. It's very neat, if not humble. Check out the fucking enhancements on this one. 
Resolve the slowdown issue that this game has. Get rid of the sprite flicker, which is really bad, and Clash of the Hotheads. Hothead is so big of a sprite for the NES to handle that you can't have a mirror match, but this version lets you. Amazing. Let's really take a look at this. The, the NES version is like it shouldn't exist, but it does. Manhattan, present day, just 1990 something. The turtles receive a strange email <laughs> from Shredder. I offer you turtles a challenge. Let us meet in the streets of Manhattan and see which of us is the most powerful. But you can invite like a dragon guy too. Why not? Of course, you really don't stand a chance. Shredder. P.S. I love you. As Leonardo, you can tell by the by the blue. And then the rest. At least let them pose with their weapons, Jesus. Yeah, Donnie, watch the gonads there. Oh, good. Casey looking like uh, NES <laughs> Jason. There's Hothead. Hothead also has another name. I forget which one it is. So, yeah, let's do it. So you only play as the turtles in the story mode, but yeah, let's let's do that. Why not? Yeah, okay, let's just kill brother, kill brother. Why not? All right, brother versus brother. Let's do it. Finally, we will see. So Sprite fl Flicker definitely left. Why is Leo dancing? That was a little weird, wasn't it? Oh, not the head by Raph! Oh, the power-ups, the power-ups! Yeah! No, I want it! Give me the weird red splitter balls! Oh, shit! So yeah, it lets you throw, like, some type of projectile. And Leo is dead. So much ambition here, it's incredible. You really think about the line scrolling on the floor, the backgrounds, the sprites, the music. Like, this was a NES powerhouse, like a technical showpiece. So I noticed Leo's, like, coming at me. Can I actually dash? I've never played this version long enough to really figure that out. I can. <laughs> An NES game where you double tap to dash. It doesn't happen very often. Imagine it's like Justin's playing this and he figures out like you can he figures out secret parry tech nobody knew. Hadoken! Oh! What a weird mechanic to have. I guess they wanted some type of super move, but all the turtles have the, the same move basically. So, I guess it's just a mystical ninjutsu dodgeball. And if you can dodge a shuriken or a Psy in the head, you can dodge a ball. Alright, so this is the Hyperstone Heist. I've played this very rarely, maybe once or twice, like back in the 90s at a friend's house. And basically it's just a rejiggered, like, release of, of uh, tournament fighters. And basically, it's just a rejiggered version of Turtles in Time. Uh, with some new art and levels thrown in, and, and its own story. I know some people prefer this version to Turtles in Time, but those people are wrong. But in all honesty, let's, let's check it out. It, you know, my memory of this is very faded, so I don't know, it might surprise me. Okay, we haven't taken Dawn in one of these games yet, so let's do that. Alright, so that's the same. But instead of Krang zooming it in and humping the Statue of Liberty, it just teleports away. And they make a tiny de- Whoa, he's ripped! Roydy Magoo over here! 
The turtles look weird. They look a little old. I don't know. Are they melting? What's happening? Scene one, New York City. It's not quite Big Apple 3, 3 a.m., is it? So a different level to start up with. That's fine. And it's a really similar game. I don't know why they just didn't do Turtles in Time. Like, why the Hyperstone heist? What is the Hyperstone? And how much does it cost? How much is it worth? So dashing is its own dedicated button if you, like, hold it down, I think. Like, yeah, a triangle. I'm playing this on the PS5. And that's... If some people prefer that, fine. I'd always rather double, double tap or just keep running forward. So I, I don't really like a dedicated dash button in a beat-em-up. It's like an extra button. I, I think that's not needed. You can give that a shortcut if you like. I don't know if you can customize the controls here. I assume you cannot. Sorry, can you not throw... Can you not throw foot soldiers into the screen with the magic power mode 7? Because the Genesis was always on mode 1. Super Nintendo mode 7... Wait, that can't be right. You, sh you have to be able to throw them. Let's look at the strategy guide. You know, why not? It's right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, no, that's it. That's all, that's all it's got. Okay, you, you just don't button mash the whip and initiate the whip it body slam move to your time. Okay, there is a whip it body slam move. So these these are actually interactable. You see this tip? Want to beat up with your buddy? You press X and it shows the code being done and how the chime sounds. So if you go over here and this is a tip for beating Tatsu... It'll show you what it looks like when you hit his kunai back to him. J just, just so you have an example. There's no reason for it, but they, they just did it because they could. You can even see the best ending in the game by pressing watch right here. That what the fuck? These are amazing. I got sidetracked, so yeah, you can throw people, I guess. I haven't figured out quite how to do it, but... Oh, wow, then it just goes up into the surface again. That's neat. You need to find out how they stitched all the levels together to form something a bit more unique. But that remains to be seen. What is the boss of this level? I'm assuming it's a Bebop or a Steady of Rock, but we shall see. Okay, I'm assuming a, a, a foot's gonna come out of this sewer grate. He did. That was a good trade. I'm happy with that. I should have seen that coming. Please, pizza power. Just pop. Wow! <laughs> that lasted so. Whew, that lasted about as long as I do. Or the boss should be Metalhead. It has been a minute. But I'm pretty sure it must be Metal. This cave is creepy, goddamn. It's like, it's like, it's a sewer. Why would they be scared? <laughs> Go back down. Why not? So it's not going to be Metalhead. I, I, Rat King? I don't, the pizza monsters? I'm intrigued, Hyperstone Heist. All right, so you can throw, you can do the the, the toss uh, on either side, but I guess you can't throw foot soldiers into the screen because there's no boss fight against Shredder when he's in that weird mecha, and that's the, that's the main reason why you do that. All right, pizza time. All right, there they are. I I forget these these monsters are modeled after some type of movie alien, but I I don't know which one. It's a little little too obscure for me. Not sure how they're they're accomplishing this going under the water, even though I'm standing on top of it. One of my turtle Jesus. One thing I'll say for this first level in this game is that it it sticks around. It's Leatherhead. 
just transported from his stage in Turtles in Time. Okay, you are too immature to hang with me. I'm a mature adult, I guarantee. Give me tips. He's just so cool and he looks really cute too. It's like if Bayou Billy just got more, someone just coded uh, Bayou Billy and like, wow, just take that from the movie, huh? Wow, you guys didn't give a fuck. Cyberstone Ice is neat. It's weird. It's a weird hodgepodge of a couple of different turtle things, but I don't know. I kind of admire its pluckiness. So Ninja Turtles for the NES also lets you get rid of the game's massive amounts of slowdown and sprite flickers. So let's do that. That's so cool. So we're going to play this for the amount most people play it and then stop playing it. This intro is still fucking hype, though. This is the character. There's no other character in the game. That the, they four represent the ninja frogs. Look up there. Shredder's up there in that part of the screen. And, that, and that's the story. Jesus Christ! It's like everyone hates this game, but everyone actually loves this game. Uh. Please stop. Everyone stop attacking me, mousers. And when the turtles get hit, they just kind of like put their hands above their, their face. They just kind of like cry about it. This is what we're going to do. I'm wait for that guy. Where'd that guy go? Okay. Yeah! Okay, that was one small victory. You jump like such a son of a bitch in this game. It's incredible. Okay. This is Mikey's ninja way. Just, just blindly flail the nunchucks around. Alright, I could give this to Mikey, but let's let's give it to, to Dawn, obviously. Alright, that didn't that didn't help too much, honestly. Get out of here. Man, those explosions are big. Ah! Ah! There's so many bad guys already. <laughs> I bet, like, the programmer who was, like, in charge of Donnie is just like, I'm gonna make this the most broken character ever. No stupid kids in America are ever gonna want to pick any other character but Donatello. There's Bebopster. And 30 Rock. Just tank it. There's, there's no reason not to just tank it. There you go. I'm right here! Stop it! No, stop! Ugh! There's nothing I could have done. We're in the warehouse and all these weird, naked, leggy, Silent Hill sex monsters. I can cheat too. Look at me cheat. That dude just throwing power waves or Hadoukens up there? Calm down. I'm fucked. Oh, just get the pizza. Yeah, I don't, the enemies in this game are just generally very scary. I'm not a fan. Okay, fuck. Okay, take Raph, like the worst character, I guess, in this game, technically. Just spinning my side in front of your face and hoping you get confused. Ah, all that just for a pizza? And look, all the enemies are back, so what the fuck was the point of that shit? 
Okay, I got a ninja weapon. Of course, the greatest ninja... Oh, the ninja weapon of all, the boomerang. Yeah. Castlevania much? Raphael's got all that smoke, because I got the, the magic of boomerang. But well, he's already dead. Oh! Oh! Let's get the hell out of here. Go away, everybody. Everyone go away. Ugh. No! Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Everyone, please stop bullying me. Please go away, weird statue man. Oh. Oh. Gotta get up. Leave. Please leave. Ugh. So everyone's beat to hell. <laughs> I'm fucked no matter who I take. I guess Leo's the most healthy. Fuck this stage. Uh, no. There's so many bugs. Get out. Just leave. Where are you? Come back and go away. Uh-oh. He's gonna throw something. The weird rat can go. Uh. No. I'm so fucked! <laughs> we all got caught. Who's who's ready to die? Alright, I got my one pip of health. Actually, may there better be a pizza some fuck! Oh! No! Man, I'm getting angry at this video game nerd. Seriously. No! Ugh. I can do this. I can do this no problem. I got this. All right, all right, all right. We cleared that easy. That was fucking disgusting. All right, no. This time. I have a little bit more health than zero. No! <laughs> oh my god. The one advantage I had is now zero advantage. Just kill him! <sighs> so that's it. That's the end of this. Couldn't even get to the damn level. Not that I wanted to. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. It's just funny how that works. I got so hyped at this screen when I was a little child, baby. So for the NES version of the arcade game, Konami was just like, here's a huge apology after what Ultra Games, which is essentially still us, uh, did to the first Ninja Turtles on the NES. And they're like, here you go, everyone. This is, this is, this is a lot better, right? Right? Alright, so the real thing with the NES version of the arcade game is just this awesome snow stage. Because someone's fucking with the weather, and it has one of the most underrated, coolest bosses ever in TMNT history. Um, a polar bear with a leather jacket on. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's awesome. And to, to that, I say, yes, you're right. Uh, his name is Tora, I believe. And it's just, that's so simple, you know? It, it, but, but it's so effective. Quiet, too quiet. The death machine! New Yorkers, let me know if there's gigantic yellow trucks with a uh, grill that has rotating spikes. Let me know if that's a common occurrence. I, I, I'm i keen to find out. Look at these multiple Jack Frosts. I, and I mean the serial killer Jack Frost, the snowman one. Not, not the Michael Keane version. Anyway, these things are the most annoying enemies I've seen in a game in a long, long time. They're the goat, worst enemies. <laughs> They're just pounding me with their giant snowy asses. Ow. Just meteorites just follow on Leonardo's head and he's like, I can take it. I've been training for this. Ah! Oh, here we go. Welcome to the show. Look at this guy! My guy... Men want to be him! 
I think all he does is just swat at you, which is not that cool, but I, I just can't. I think about this character all the time. If someone asks me what I'm thinking about, like, usually 73% of the time is Tora. I want. I, I know you're thinking, what's going on here? Well, that that's the weather controlling machine, a little weird spinning sphere from Phantasm, and and Tora is just wants to turn New York into a winter one. Wants to turn it into Montreal, I guess. Like that's his other big move. That's all he's got. Did this guy ever appear in in other TMNT media? Most likely comic books, maybe maybe cartoons. Let me know. I I will then seek out that media and consume it. So like I almost don't want to kill him. You know what, what I mean? It's like this this is hurting me to do it. As the 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 only people you hurt are the ones you love. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, he's dead as shit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Get fucked, technology. <laughs> That's how weather works. And then someone just spits on a turtle. So this is a Ninja Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. Big memories of this one. This is just a more refined version of the NES version of the arcade version of Ninja Turtles. Anyway, so the funny thing about this game is that there's a Triceraton very prominently displayed on the box art over there, despite the fact that a Triceraton never, ever appears in the game. How many times have we seen this in show? And I and I love it every time. If I saw three little baby turtles shoot through a sewer hole, I'd probably pee my shit. That sounds better than the Genesis games. <laughs> well, these cute versions of the turtles are adorable. One nice thing about this game is that they have their own unique uh, special moves uh, for this beat em up. I remember really liking Raph's and Mike's, but I think we're gonna go with Raph. So turtles are just in Florida, out, out ev just out, you know, hanging loose and thick. No one in Florida really notices them. Come on, April's report is just about to start. Why do you want to see April's report when you're in Florida? That April looks so cute, very anime inspired. Here in New York, crime is escalating every day. Though only there's something we could do about it. Gee, what happened? Bummer dudes, it's Shredder. Looks like Shredder's the one that said that because his mouth was moving. So yeah, that's feasible, right? Turtles, I'm taking April along with Manhattan Island. If you want them back, come and get them. So yeah, we'll just book our flight. Let's go, Turtles. The start of a long, hard battle is beginning. They're not kidding, because this is like the heart, one of the hardest TMNT games ever released. So you have this flip-up move, so you can just kind of toss enemies over your head. Uh, I don't know if you use energy when you do this special move, uh, if you don't actually hit anybody. That's it. Did I did I use did I expend energy doing that? I sure did. There's something about this one that just feels a little more uh, precise. Uh, feedback for hitting enemies is really good in the in this game over the arcade version of the NES version. I'm getting mixed up now, um, and it's it's a it is a long quest. Lots of obscure villains. Oh my god, pocket sand, so disgusting. I'm not gonna dispute the effectiveness of the pocket sand, but it's a cheap move. Of all the, the, the Turtles games on the NES, I do think this is the strongest one overall. Like I did say, uh, it is brutally hard. I did notice that in the enhancement section of this one, there was an activated easy mode. I don't know exactly what that does. 
maybe just give you more health and whatnot. But uh, I don't think I've ever... I got really close with Rocky um, beating this with him in two-player back in the day. But it was that was, was a while ago, and my reflexes were actually better back then. It's true. It, it, it can happen. Uh, nowadays, though, I don't know. The only thing that really bothers me is the portraits down below. Why can't they just be color coded? Why can't Raph, why does Raph have like flesh colored bandana? That's weird. Do you take off strips of a human body and he wears that as his bandana? Maybe that would be a dark turn. It, it And the other turtles too, they're happy about it. Look at them down there. This is Key West. I've been to Key West. Love Key West actually. I could go for that uh, li uh, key lime pie dipped in chocolate on a stick. So we're at the beach, it says so. Although technically we're not, because we're, we're on a pier. These are gonna fall down. I'm probably gonna get hit by them. They're gonna do it. You know they're gonna do it. Oh, thank fuck. Bam, 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 going down at an angle. Whew, so exotic, so bold. Yes, come into the line, boys. Ooh, that was that was a close one. Come into my death line, boys. I'm right here. I'm I'm flipping foot all day. I believe the first boss is 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 Rocksteady, Sir Rocksteady. I think it uses identical sprite to uh, the, the NES game of the arcade game. God, I'm getting tired of saying that. Oh! Damn. Can't take another turtle here. Let's take Mikey. Oops. And you have like this weird kangaroo kick, if I recall. Yeah, that. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Uses the same attack pattern too, but I guess it's a spear gun, cause Florida water, I guess. Yeah. Love that, hey. Team two, cow bunga dudes decided way back to Manhattan. Yes, yes, we're gonna surf to Manhattan. I mean, Turtles plays fast and loose with the idea of you know physics. And, and and just logistics. But these super-powered surfboards will get us there eventually. It might take a couple days. You know, uh, April might be a corpse. And millions of people on Manhattan Island have died. But we'll get there. It's time for the GBA games. And I have to say, that cover is incredible. The foot look badass. The turtles have, like, their original comic sort of feel to them. But they have the color-coded masks. I love it. Mwah, perfect. Obviously, because they're Game Boy games, I don't think we have to go too far into this. But it is really neat that these were included. Uh, let's go Donatello. Dun, dun, dun. That's not that's a nice rendition though. <laughs> this is so cute. This the song is gonna play the entire game, isn't it? Oh, you even have... I've never played these before, these these Game Boy games. I never had an original Game Boy growing up. The first Game Boy I ever had was... Jeez, uh, the DS Lite. You even have a GBA. Just, just couldn't afford that, you know? But um, these, this is already, you know, a very basic game. But look how charming this is. Who, who would say no to this? Oh my god, you can throw ninja stars. Why not? That's... Kind of cool. Violent for the TMNT. Wonder why Splinter wasn't like, okay, you, Donatello, you get the you get the shuriken. You know, and you you scream really loud. That's your attack. That's what I'll teach you how to do. So if I just do this, it should it should kill him. Yeah, nice. Problem solving. This doesn't validate Donatello though, because his range is so short. It's like, dude! It's like a six-foot staff. Kind of use it to the best of your ability here. 
Now I'm gonna take a guess that the boss is gonna be either a Bebop or a Rocksteady. We shall see, but uh, that's my bet. Oh, turtles hate water. Fortunately, sewer pizza is one of the most flavorful pizza pies you can get in the city. It's like, what do you want? A sewer pizza or a pizza from Sparrow? Ugh, ugh. I'll take the sewer pizza. What the shit is even that? A black hole? Is that a tire? Bats! Fucking bats. Okay, sure, why not? These bats are gonna kill me, right? I got I got one health pip left. I have to assume that they're gonna do me in. Oh, that was close. I had a, I had a split second decision there. Ugh. Hey, these guys are all over the road. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. Huh. <laughs> okay, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Back from the sewers. We're back from where we came from. So I guess the turtles took like a long sabbatical in the sewer. Like they didn't help out the city. Oh my god, now a uh, Game Boy version of it. Cool. Not bad. That's a Ninja Turtle title screen, all right. Wow, look at that dopey turtle. <laughs> I don't know which one that is, because it's a Game Boy game, it's hard to tell, but... Wow, really, you guys spent no expense on these portraits, just changed out the weapons. Ah, uh, let's go, Leo. Oh, that's cool, from the cartoon, neat. I don't really much care for this sprite. Okay, can't shoot ninja stars. That's that's quite a kick. That's a sex kick right there. Mm, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I'm not. Whoa. We're back from the sewers, everybody. Play the theme song again. No one's sick of it. What a coward. Would Shredder really cha uh, train this dude to be a member of the foot? And he's here because the outside world rejects him. Wow. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. Let's, let's just continue on. Oh, he was holding a pizza. Oh, okay, I got the, I ate the pizza from him. Thank you, Foot Soldier, Pizza Soldier. Ooh, Pizza Soldier. You know, when the Pizza Wars actually kill us all eventually, I I'd like to think, are you gonna be on the right side of the Pizza Soldier War? So we're starting off in the sewers. We're, we're trained to assume Bebop and Rocksteady at the level one of all Ninja Turtle games. But let's try to get fancy here. Let's just assume Rat King. Ow. Okay, no. We're going we're going service level. That was a nice uh, animation, I'll give him that. So now now it's probably Bebop or Rocksteady. Is this gonna be like Hyperstone Heist where we go back we go back from the sewers into the sewers. All right, is there gonna be a who turned out the lights? Who put the lights out? Yes, I've, we, we just came from the sewers. We're back from them. What? I had to move. I had this amazing... <laughs> That's a good button. <laughs> this is it. This is the culmination of my years of training. Uh, this is what Splinter's most sacred technique is this. Okay, it's, it could still be anybody's ball game about who the boss will be. Maybe Baxter. Maybe anything, really. 
It'd be awesome if they threw a curveball in there, like, here's Karai all of a sudden. And you're like, what? Okay, okay sure. Quite a pull, Team NT2 back from the sewers. Yeah, give me that. Oh, I need it. It's so good in my tummy. Ba back down there! What the? This is the end of the Ninja Turtles, isn't it? Okay, boss music? What's happening? What the? Everything explode, okay. I guess we walked into a trap. They they had set the C4. They knew what they were doing. They they planned this for months. Oh my god, he did the secret technique! I need a pizza. Where's the where's the pizza soldier? This is your time to shine, my dude. Oh! Oh, so it's just 80,000 foot soldiers. Okay. I have one pip left. Can I defeat this enemy rush? And we're going back up. Oh my god, give me... Thank you, Splitter! Pizzas! Okay, phew. Thank god. Glad he approves. It's rock steady. I'm so shock steadied. And of course, one foot soldier that's just dr helping by dropping <laughs> potted plants. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he shot me in the back just like rock steady would have done. No. No. Uh, I just didn't have the stuff. Leonardo's put in a jail. <laughs> And he's, he's choking to death! His neck isn't that small, come on! And finally, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Radical Rescue. Wow! Wow! Leonardo is pissed on that cover art. So this is 1993 on the Game Boy, and then as I kind of talked about before, this is kind of a Metroid-esque game, I believe. Ooh, it looks quite nice, actually. A year has passed since Shredder was dead. You know, got crushed in the back of the garbage truck. While the three of the turtles, while three of the turtles, relax in their sewer retreat. It's a retreat now. A special bulletin from April O'Neil interrupts. That, that happens in every game. Their favorite TV show. I thought their favorite TV show was April O'Neil's reports. I'm here at the scene of an incredible prison break. Are you serious? Shredder is just in prison. It seems that the criminal responsible is Og. You know, Og is not one of my favorite villains in the Team and T-verse. Right, anyway, the broadcast is cut off. Yikes! We gotta go save April. What? What happened to her? The turtles spring into action and head for the fortress. April is... What? Meanwhile, the turtles continue to watch TV. And meanwhile, Michelangelo is returning from the pizza joint and notices the place is deserted. Oh my god, this is why it's called Radical Rescue. I forgot. Now, Rescue Palooza, but this is a story of Michelangelo saving the other three turtles. Just then, bizarre laughter crackles out of the TV. Your friends are mine now, little turtle. So this is basically the last Ronin? If you dare rescue them, come to the abandoned mine at the edge of the city. Don't worry, gang. I'm on my way. Okay, that's fine. I like the jumping. Better sprite. We're listening to the Ninja Turtles theme song for like the seventh time in a row. That's fine, though. Huh. Bit more exploration in this. We're already like exploring way more than the last two games. Very punchy sound effect when you kill things. Always, always nice. Oh, so I skipped almost everything. We're in the mine now. Nice. What? What? That's amazing. Can that happen in real life? I want to say yes. 
that's totally feasible to spin a nunchuck so fast that not even Jesus can defeat you. Now, mine pizza? Would you eat a pizza that's been sitting in a mine for untold decades? Yeah, probably would. Well, I'm gonna eat it. I don't care what any of you say. Alright, so there, help, help, and then help. How do I select that little pizza that I got? That's what I'm wondering. Wow, here's the map. It's it's a Cowabunga map. Oh, a little 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 snack size pizza there, just as a little treat. Oh my god! Just imagine falling and then just taking the time to make sure to kick, so you hit an errant bat. Well, that's not good. That's fucked. Actually, I should. Ow. Oh my god. What do I do in this situation? Huh? Ugh. Didn't think I'd have the time to do it. Goddamn bats. Ugh. Oh. Screw that! No! Oh! What happened? Oh, I had an extra pizza. It was like essentially a, a free life refill. So we definitely have to explore a bit. I guess those little spots are... I, I don't know what they are. Power-ups, maybe? And get scan visors and shit? Amazing! I like that! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Splinter never prepared me for falling chunks of rock, sadly. Boxes and manuals, oh shit! Ads and catalogs? Comic book? Comic books?! Wait, wait, what? Animated shows? No, you can't. It's just the intros, right? You can't watch a full episode. What? No. O okay. Yeah, just some select screen caps. I thought there was going to be full episodes, which would have been insane. So cool that it's here, though, for, you know, a little Ninja Turtles history. Oh, it's just screen caps from every single season. Where's the Red Sky seasons? I think it's there it is. <laughs> there they fucking are. Awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah. Where's that weird kid that turns into a weird guy? Oh, where is he? Is he not in here? Uh, no. Oh my god. I have no memory of these seasons. I there he is. Forget this dude's name. He went to 10? More Red Sky seasons. So many Red Sky. Ew, gross. Brains on brains. Then it goes to Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Still haven't watched that new movie on Netflix. I don't know if it's any good, but I am interested. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, the 1980, the originals. This is, this is mine. This is the one I remember. The Archie Comics versions. Oh, this is going to be so... Oh my god, war! Nice! Do we have any Mighty Mutimals? Where are they? Oh, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I would love to collect all these old Archie comics versions specifically because there's some childhood shit here. What the shit? Part 1 of 5, the Sabra Samurai? So strategy guy, this is one of the big features of, of this particular collection, I believe. So what these are are brand new strategy guides made specifically for this this collection, this release. I can tell because even though I didn't own Turtles in Time, I could only rent it, I did own the fuck out of Termin Fighters, and this is not the regular Turtle Termin Fighters manual. So that's sick. And the way it snaps to each picture, like very, very fast and fluid. Here are codes to just straight up codes. This is awesome. And it's done in the same style as the illustrations from the original manual, but this is new art. Holy crap, a lot of work went into just this section alone. So we have Hyperstone Heist, Ninja Turtles for the NES, if you need a strategy guide for that. Oh my god, look how cute that is! Ah! Maps of all of the stages of Ninja Turtles on NES. I can't even... 
And Ninja Turtles 3 Radical Rescue is more of like a, a Metroid style game with one giant persistent map and it's all printed here. There's even search filters so you can go through all this content? God damn, Digital Eclipse! Why'd you have to go so hard? And of course, the original manuals are preserved here. Even the Japanese ones! Everyone knows the Geki Kame Ninja Den. You know, those, those guys. All the magazine advertisements? Oh my god, I remember this one. It was in my Archie comics all the time. I've never even seen this one. Of course, well, I, I've never seen this one too, but why would I want it? Why would I want to play an old Tiger Electronics parallel made by Konami? No thanks. And there's that porn star April, not the real porn star April, just a fake porn star of April. That's, that's sweet. Oh, and this one, I wanted that goop that goes on the arcade machine. I was like, yeah, finally, get to play the arcade game in, in the home. And I did, kind of, sort of. <laughs> behind the scenes? Style Guide X? What do you mean, behind the scenes? Oh, it's the concept documents for the, the strategy guide. Wait, no, these are from the original games. I've never seen this stuff before. And there's cassette tapes for all of the music, for all of the games that you can play from here. Well, where's tournament fighters? Where's tournament fight? There you go. Uh, uh not cutscene. Uh, what's my favorite? Uh, Thunderdome I really like. TMNT Cowabunga Collection has to be one of the greatest collections I've ever seen. So much thought and care put in all the enhancements, uh, the huge museum of Ninja Turtles stuff, and just all the accuracy to the source material here. It's just amazing to see what a collection can be and more should be like this. Like the other Konami collections for Castlevania and Contra, like they're good, they're solid, but this this is leaps and bounds better. So incredible stuff by Digital Eclipse here. Um, let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. And if you'd like me to see me play some of these games in a bit more depth, maybe do online matches in Tournament Fighters, I would love to see what that's like. It does use rollback netcode, so I'm very interested. And hey, maybe that means I might even fight Max in Tournament Fighters. I, I never thought I'd see the day.